Hey everyone, my name is Rokas, and for those who don't know, I am the Aikido guy who did the Aikido versus the May sparring two years ago. And in this video, you will see a sparring match again with the same person after two years, and especially after a year of MMA training that I did before this sparring. So if you're interested to see how much progress has happened, stay tuned. So before we go ahead to the actual sparring, just a quick reminder of everything that happened through the last two years. Initially, I did the Aikido versus the May sparring to show that Aikido does not fare well against a professional experienced fighter. While I was risking my Aikido career, since I had been doing Aikido back then for 13 years and also I was a professional instructor, it was a big risk, but nevertheless, the video got a lot of support from the community of combat sports, such as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA, and even traditional martial artists who were deviating and moving away away from traditional ways of training and into more pressure tested and alive ways of training. This led me to a journey of about a year to try to reinvent my Aikido going to various experts and asking them for help how to make my Aikido work in those circumstances. Nevertheless, after I did the second sparring after a year, it didn't do so well and I realized that I need to completely let go of my Aikido and just go and train MMA full time. I did that by moving to the States, Portland, Oregon, where I started training under head coach Matt Ford the founder of Straight Glass Gym International. I trained six days per week there for about a half a year, where at the end of the six months, I did an actual MMA fight in a cage. Soon after that, I met coach John Kavanaugh, the coach of the famous Conor McGregor. After our meeting, I got an invitation to train at his gym, SBG Ireland, and I spent three months training there full time again. In between that, I also had an experience to go and train with other people, but eventually it's been about a full year of MMA training that I did. And now as I moved back to Lithuania, I had a chance to meet Tadas, the professional MMA fighter that we sparred with two years ago, and to see how much I progressed during that time. So now that we have recapped the whole story, let's get on to the map and let's see how it went. So we finally made it back to Shule. This time we are at a different gym because the gym where I trained and when we did this first sparring, the gym actually moved. So now it is the Taurus Energy Gym uh, led by head coach Mantas Widelauskas. And I am going to be here just in a moment with Tadas Eriksonis, a fellow Lithuanian who we had the first initial sparring. So hopefully the progress that I made will be visible. We are going to go for initially for light sparring, but let's invite him and talk about whatever happens from there. I actually expect a lot of better from Rokas because he had America training, Ireland training. I think it's a good experience. This time maybe I get uh, some serious punches. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to also mention that uh, obviously the intention is it's, it's not going to be a full-on fight. We're not looking for who's going to win. Uh, also, too, uh, you have to take into account that I was training for a year. And how many years have you trained by this? I trained about uh, nine years. You have more than 20 fights of experience. Yeah, I had. Uh, At least in my experience, when a fighter has much more experience, you can't, this is not magic, you can't become better than someone who trained in nine, nine years, have had 20 fights, you can become better than them in that period, but hopefully we will see the progress that I made since the last time we sparred, and that's what I'm, that's the only thing I hope for. Uh, well, it it's all depends on your character, I believe it, how we will show it. Good, let's do this. Okay. <laughs>
So this is the first very light sparring, just boxing. Uh, what's your impression for this? Yeah, it's it, it, it's it's good. You can spar good. Uh, he's not like uh, the new guy uh, he was like last year. This time I feel it's be hard for me, very hard for me. Obviously makes the, the size difference. The arm makes yeah. a difference too, right? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So it seems my weak spot is clear, it's cardio. Yeah, I see he can move, uh, he can uh, use uh, something on me, but he's uh, just tired. Mm. I feel that he's, he's tired and uh, on the ground, actually I feel he's tired and I can do, I can attempt arm lock, mm. but uh, I, I failed two times. <laughs> you were that close, but yeah, yeah. the timer went off. Yeah. I agree with you, when uh, when I'm tired on the ground, I don't have the energy to defend myself. Yes, yes. I'm more just yeah, so <laughs> it's, saving time. It's, I felt one time you just like laying and uh, mm -hmm. and waiting for me to do right. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not uh, right. Yeah, okay. I agree. What would you suggest with cardio, if uh, that's the weak spot? Myself, just uh, every training, uh, uh, do your best. Uh, keep keep pushing forward yourself. If you're lazy in training, you never have a uh, good cardio.
we have my friend, uh, I don't know, he is one of my best friends, he was my boss, my manager, uh, my boss, coach. Your manager, your coach. You have a lot of experience as well. I had about 20 fights, but mixed Muay Thai, kickboxing, you know I mean? I kick his ass many times. Yeah. <laughs> we all have our limits. <laughs> what, what did you see? What, what was your experience? You lose the boxing round? Of course you have the... Uh, I say so. He has a bigger experience in kickboxing and boxing. The second round, the others was more harder on the kicks, but on the BGJ, you suck. <laughs> he was jumping like a monkey for one minute, 20, <laughs> using his energy, you were waiting, 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 resting, and then bam, he's no energy, you started to work. Yeah, yeah well, uh, he's good. And others, uh, also to a summary of all the rounds for you. I felt progress. I had to watch myself from punches, and uh, wrestling, wrestling is good. But uh, in the MMA round, you used cardio. Well, I think I could do one last boxing round, maybe a bit harder. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do one more. It was difficult for me to come close to you. I always get a punch from left hand. I believe your better cardio will make me a lot of problems. Yeah. problems. Better than a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> much, much better. Different person. I had no clue what's happening. Zero idea. Oh my god. This stuff is just laying like it's... He was... He was like, laying with my kid. He was six yeah, years yeah, old. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was so nice. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I can say now you have a big progress. Right. <laughs> One of the progress, you change your haircut. It's good. <laughs> it's better. Good <laughs> well, we can make a deal. Uh, three months, I train my cardio and we try again. <laughs> Three of us. Okay. Three of us. Sure. Him. Three of us. Thank you guys. So we are driving back by we, I mean this guy, which you can see the ass of, and my friend Gabriela. <laughs> Show hi. Show hi. Okay. <laughs> We're driving back to Vilnius. I have to say, I have a whole bag of emotions. There were ups and downs. First of all, I am happy that 
you know, the, the progress obviously was evident. But what was interesting is that before the trip, I felt, you know, I felt confident. I was like, yeah, you know, I got used to Bellator and UFC fighters. It's like, I'm, you know, I feel confident. But then by the time I arrived and I met Dadas and Ednas, I started to feel anxious. I was like, damn, you know, there's a lot hanging in this. And I feel that tension really draw a lot of energy out of me. You know, you know that you're doing this in front of the camera. There's potentially a million of people are going to watch you and they're going to judge you. That's a lot of pressure. And I feel that got to me. But also too, obviously my cardio was not my strong suit. It has been evident in the past and I was working on it hard, but, but even so it seems I'm still lacking in it. Nevertheless, the first round I felt it, it went pretty well. I actually had a bit of a smile at a certain moment. I don't know if, if it was recording on the camera. I was like, hey, holy crap, I'm not doing that bad. It was light sparring, but still I feel like, you know, we're, we're sparring. We're actually sparring. This is not just him beating the crap out of me like in the past. But then uh, by round two and round three, my, my cardio started to die out. That was kind of the low point. But then we switched to grappling, which wasn't that bad. You know, uh, I, I got some good positions there and not to say, you know, that was incredible, but still it, it wasn't that bad. And then we decided to go for that harder round. And, and both Edmund and Tata said that actually went better. And that was to my surprise because I, I thought this will go better if we will go in a light sparring still I feel in the end uh, it was such a pleasure to, to meet those guys and I feel so much more confident in that realm both talking to those guys sparring there's there's been a lot of change and, and I'm happy that in the end that change is visible and it's recorded I think yeah in the end it's uh, the whole the whole life is a whole series of ups and downs and that's not something that should hold you back it's all about moving forward and those ups and downs just go higher and higher and they become better and better and I think that's one of those moments as always thank you everyone for your support usually you're very supportive as my audience to my surprise the internet they say it's a toxic place but you guys are oftentimes so so incredible and uh, so thank you for all your support through those two and a half years so again this marks uh, another big step in the journey and the journey is never ending so let's keep going and Let's do this together.